like you said, I think he's really kind of a the X factor where someone could take him at seven, fall in love with him, or they could just kind of look at him and say, well, you know, he's really good, but we're he's going to fall to 28 or 29. I think he's every year there's a couple guys where you're not quite sure, and I think he's the guy this year. He's just the highest profile X factor guy yeah, in yeah. a few years. Last question for you before we move on to game time, which is our funnest segment, yes. I think, by far. Does Fairly compared to Sue in any way, is he going to be as dominant in the NFL right away as Sue was this year for the Lions? You know, I, I, people are comparing him, and his stats, when they put their stats right next to each other, they're basically identical from Sue last year to Fairly this year. I mean, I think he's actually, he, he's more disruptive. He's more getting up the field. Sue's, I think they're a little bit different type of players, but I think Fairly stacks right up there with Sue. And I mean, I'm a huge Indomitian Sue fan, but... Yeah, I, I mean, I think he does. I think fairly, you know, Sue was, what, the number two pick last year? Fairly's going to be right there this year. We have three months to go over this. It's Fords can change. Months. It's going to be good. When we come yeah. back, it's game time, and we are previewing the AFC and NFC championship games. You will have to stick around for that. It will be good. You're watching the Sports Lounge. It is now time for the funnest part of the show, at least we feel, it's, called, it's time for game time. And we will be doing game time, and they have the various logos from the Yay, teams boys. here, the Jets, the Steelers, the Bears, and the Packers. I will be asking a series of questions, and they will be holding their cards up to, as to, uh, for them to say which one they like, which one they don't. So we will begin with the AFC Championship game. It is the Steelers and the Jets. From Pittsburgh, 6.30 Eastern on CBS on Sunday, 5.30 Central. And I will ask you this panel, who has never actually heard the questions, by the way. So just throw that out there, a small disclaimer. Team with the better rushing attack, Pittsburgh or the Jets? Wow, look at that. Oh, so you're all on the Jets, huh? Yep. All right. Because they Travis, got the two-headed monster of Tomlinson and Sean Green, and apparently Sean Green sucks during the regular season, cost my fantasy team quite a bit. <laughs> apparently he turns it on in the playoffs. I really like Mendenhall, but besides him, you know, you got Moeldy Moore in the mix. But the Jets, they're a, they are a uh, running team first. Wrong card. There you go. Yeah, we this got one. it. Not, not this one. Yep. Maybe this one. Anyone they are else? a running team first. Do you have a different reasoning? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think it starts right up front. With yes. The Jets have quite possibly the best offensive line in the league. And the Steelers just can't keep offensive linemen healthy. I mean, they've just got, I can't, I would like to know how many offensive linemen they've actually went through this year. It could be an extraordinary number, but yeah, the Jets, their offensive line is just dominant, so. Okay, second question. What, which coach do you have more faith in? Loud Rex or quiet, confident Tomlin? Okay, that was, Travis, I don't know why you were so late with that. Well, I was, th it's okay, hard, it's hard. Well, Drew, you like the Jets. Why do you like Rex so much? He oozes confidence, gentlemen. And for all the, and for how unlikable that can be, it has worked. They're a really good road team. They've won multiple road games. They've never had a playoffs. home playoff game with him as coach. No, they have not. So, yeah. And they haven't really needed it. And no. I, as much, for as much as I was hoping that Rex would, you know, put his put his foot in his mouth last weekend. I O. Uh, all right. Very all good, all of the good. talk, all of the trash. You're talk, done, Drew. Charlie, why off. do you say the oh, Steelers? Oh, he's good. He's good. Uh, I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm going with the Steelers. I'm going with the uh, coach that's won a Super Bowl before. Yep. Okay. I think I'm pretty much just going to leave it with that's that. Exactly what I would have said. Okay. Third question now. What? Thing, well, let's just say thing. Would you rather have on your side a terrible towel or Fireman Ed? This was a dumb question, <laughs> yes, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Okay. Charlie, you want Fireman Ed on your, your oh, side, huh? Well, I guess if you're just asking which we're having. If I want something on my side, I'd well, rather I mean, have another human being than just a towel. I mean, okay. You can get utility out of a towel. You can wipe I your mouth. I guess that's true. I would not want to wipe my face. Wash your feet. Uh, Fight, you know, so that's kind of my reason for that was point. there is usage there. 
I, it's kind of neat to see all the people do the thing with you the You can have Fireman Ed go grab you drinks and popcorn <laughs> while you're at the game, though, during halftime. The towel cannot go grab your hot dog. And he does start ever. the chant, right? And you can wipe off the beer that yeah. gets thrown on you as well. Yeah. Yes. Again, the terrible towel has to be the terrible towel. Okay, I told you that was, we had one stupid question in. So that was there indeed quite dumb. Final one. Who wins, Pittsburgh or the Jets? Okay, you're going, Drew, you're just trying to be different, or why do you say the Jets? Uh, you know, it's not what I really want to happen. I, I want think the it Jets. will, because I don't think Pittsburgh has a really has a good offensive line really at all. I think the rushing attack is kind of weak. Uh, it all will come down to uh, the Jets' D line and the linebacker linebacking core getting to Ben Roethlisberger. He's a really tough guy to to get down, but I think if, if they can accomplish that, I think they have a really really good chance. And and yep, and look at the road records of, of the playoff teams in recent years. The home field advantage keeps on diminishing. For what reason, I don't know. Um, at, at the Jets, this is a team with a chip on their shoulder. They have, it's, it's the team, you can't underrate the nobody thinks will win card for, for, for a team. That, the, well, most recently, the Giants won a Super Bowl with that kind of mentality. Uh, again, this is that, 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 those are some reasons why I like the Jets. Uh, and they can win despite Mark Sanchez. They've proved, proven that. Travis, why do time. you think the Steelers? Because you look at Goliath and just think they're the better team. And the Jets did defeat them in Pittsburgh earlier in the year. And we talked about how that kind of switches in the playoffs. But you look at last year's home field advantage, it held up with the Saints and the Colts. And I just think coming off the huge win that the Jets had, there's going to be a bit of a letdown here. You know, they don't, you know, the Patriots, they're their big rival. So I think there's a bit of a letdown here. The Steelers win, and I think they win the whole thing. All right. NFC Championship game time. So as you, as the, Switch the cavalcade of stars here, sw the panel switches their cards. Better special teams, Packers oh, hell. or Bears? Hell, fella. Come on. How? Okay, Blake, how? explain yourself. I'm going to go with uh, how. Well, oh, i got to come up with his name first. Mason Crosby, the <laughs> kicker, <laughs> the uh, the returner out of the University of Miami. If you can't name him, yeah, the, the guy out of Miami, yeah, Devin, Devin Hester. Hester. Hey, they're, well, first of all, they're going to kick away from Hester. I mean, that, that I was really just trying to be different on this one, to be honest. But <laughs> <laughs> there is no reasoning for this. Okay, <laughs> Charlie, why do you say the Bears? Uh, well, kind of like the people were saying earlier, because Devin Hester, even if they try to take him out of the game and they're punting it out of bounds, then you're giving the Bears better field position. Might not end up working, but it's at least giving them an advantage then. Bears kicker Robbie Gold, one of the best kickers in the playoffs and kicking in cold weather, that's a deciding factor. I, I agree with you. I, I would go with Chicago as well. More dangerous, Aaron Rodgers or Devin Hester? Oh, look at oh. you. Look at look you. At I think that was ad lib. Look at that. No, no, that was no. Definitely. it was not. I'll go, right. I'll go here. So we're all on Green Bay here. You yeah. all like Aaron Rodgers. Well, I think it's the fact that you can contain Devin Hester if you really need to. You can take him out of the game. Um, you know, unless you're the Minnesota Vikings, That's uh, right. they're not going to kick to him. Um, Aaron Rodgers touches the ball every offensive yes. play. Devin Hester does not. But if you're game planning against Devin Hester, doesn't that make him more dangerous? If you're saying we have to take it out of his hands, aren't you saying then that – we're, we would rather give the Bears the ball at the 30 or the 40 versus punt it to the 15 or 20 and give them a chance? That, that's an advantage, but I still think that Aaron Rodgers is better. Fair enough. All right, third question. Better D, the Bears Well, let me just Packers? go back on this question. Oh, no, who's no, to, we're moving who's on. Who's to say the Packers are going to punt? Maybe they'll put up 48 points again and not even have to. So there you All go. All right, Point. there you go. All right, better D, Bears or Packers? Ooh, that's a good <laughs> All right. Travis, are you ever going to? I don't know. That's tough. Okay. So, okay. Well, oh. Travis is disqualified from this. So I can't <laughs> take more than 10 seconds to come up with no, an answer. No, we're in a running time here. We got All an right, hour. All right, Drew, why do you say the Bears? Uh, I think they're a little better up front. Uh, that's pretty much uh, the, the main thing for me. Uh, the, the Packers have a really good linebacking core. Um, with, uh, but you Clay said Matthews. Packers. Yeah. Okay. I said I said Chicago. Oh, you said Chicago. Okay. I said Chicago. Uh, again, that's this is a really even uh, matchup defensively. Both teams are, are pretty solid. Uh, not perfect, but again, solid. And 
pretty equal. Blake, why do you uh, say yeah, the I'll go Green Bay. I think they've got the most disruptive defensive player in the league with Clay Matthews. And uh, Tremont Williams, Charles Woodson might be the best set of corners in the league. And really just I find a weak spot in that defense, really. I mean, two completely different defenses. You know, but find a weak spot really on the Green Bay's D. They're good up front. They're good in the linebacking core. A secondary is really good as well. So, all right, final question: Who wins, Bears or Packers? All right, Travis, you say the Bears. Is that a heart yeah. over the head pick? No, I think they're going to win. I don't want to see Green Bay win, but I think Chicago wins. If Cutler cannot make mistakes, I think you add Hester into the mix. We mentioned their defense. I think Chicago, I think this run for Green Bay ends here. All right, Charlie, why do you say the Packers? Uh, I'm not super confident with the Packers, and I could see Aaron Rodgers kind of struggling after playing so well the last two weeks. But he's just playing like on another planet all by himself right now. And I think until I see him stopped, I'm going to pick the Packers to win. Okay. The Packers, these first two games, they've gotten off to pretty good starts. I want to see how they do if they get behind here by 7 or 14 points. See if they can come back, you know, against Chicago. I don't think they will. I think I think with Green Bay, you're you're looking at a Super Bowl championship team. I really do. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, uh, his I'm absolutely outstanding. I think it's, this is the be the best quarterback left in, in these playoffs, and I think that's really going to show, uh, particularly in Chicago. Um, uh, and and again, I think they're clicking at the right time as well. And I think that's, that's almost as important as anything else when it comes to the playoffs is, is your team playing the way you know, they're capable of playing in crunch time. All right. Well, we will have to wait and see that game, the NFC Championship game, on Sunday at 2 o'clock Central Time on Fox. Of course, we'll be back here in next week's show to break it all down and prepare you for the Super Bowl. We will be coming back and wrapping up the show. You're watching the Sports Lounge. back to the sports lounge here and we hope you've enjoyed the show today we've enjoyed bringing it to you and uh, I'd like to get a closing thought from the panel everybody here will say something about football but I'm looking forward to basketball kicking up here with football dying down now I'm turning my attention to uh, college to college basketball okay. NBA has been pretty decent this year with my Bulls doing good for once but I'm looking forward to uh, catching some more college uh, basketball games now my Miami Dolphins Hired Brian Dabble as the offensive coordinator today. Wow. Coordinated Cleveland Browns offense last two years. Only team last year to score less points than the Dolphins. Great hire. Uh, well, I, I'm excited to see if it's possibly two uh, six seeds playing in the Super yes. Bowl. And whenever I watch SportsCenter to see the new Blake Griffin highlight dunk. Yes. Okay. Uh, what am I looking forward to? I don't really know. Uh, sports in general, I guess. Uh, well, we'll have to see what comes with the week. NFL, uh, NFL championship games should be very good this weekend. Hope you watch on Sunday. See who goes to the Super Bowl. That does it for me, Nathan Stacken, everyone here. Thanks for watching the Sports Lounge. We'll see you next week.